Chemistry Lecture Number 90, Arrhenius, Bronsted-Lowry, and Lewis Theories of Acids and Bases. The Arrhenius model of acid says that an acid is a substance that contains hydrogen and ionizes to produce hydrogen ions and aqueous solutions. For example, HCl gas would be an acid since it ionizes in water to produce H+. So if you take HCl gas and bubble it through water, um, the reaction produces H plus and Cl negative. So since HCl produces H plus when placed in water, that makes this an acid. The Arrhenius model of bases says that a base is a substance that contains a hydroxide group and dissociates to produce OH negative and aqueous solution. For example, NaOH would be a base since it dissociates in water to produce OH negative. So if you take solid sodium hydroxide, and uh, put it in water, uh, it dissolves and dissociates. It breaks apart and forms Na plus and OH negative. So since this substance produces OH negative when placed in water, um, it's a base. The Arrhenius model is not the only definition for an acid in a base. Uh, you need to be aware of two other models, the Bronsted-Lowry model and the Lewis model. The Bronsted-Lowry model states that an acid is a hydrogen ion donor. A base is a hydrogen ion acceptor. For example, when NH3 and water are mixed, water will act as an acid and donate a hydrogen ion to the NH3. So let me show you a diagram of that. Here we have water being mixed with uh, ammonia, and when that happens, <coughs> one of the H's in H2O is going to be donated to the NH3. In fact, it's going to donate an H+. Plus and then uh, the NH3 accepts it and turns into NH4. After H2O loses uh, the H, it becomes OH negative. So, um, but there's something you should notice here. This reaction is reversible. It goes forward and backward. Um, notice that if the reaction goes in reverse, NH4 could donate H plus and OH negative could accept it. So in the reverse reaction, NH4 will donate an H plus to H2O, and that'll turn the H2O into H that'll turn the OH into H2O, and then after the NH4 donates its H+, the NH4 becomes NH3. So, in this case, this is the acid, and that's the base for a reversible reaction. Well, since NH4 and uh, OH negative are on the right side of the arrow, so here's the arrows and it's on the right-hand side, um, we'll call these the conjugate acid and base. So, after an acid donates its H+, plus, it becomes a conjugate base. So here's our acid, it donates an H+, plus to here, and after it donates its H+, plus, it becomes a conjugate base. And then after a base accepts an H+, plus, it becomes a conjugate acid. So here's our base, after it accepts an H+, plus from here, it turns into a conjugate acid, NH4+. Plus. Here's another reaction. HCl donates an H plus to H2O, it accepts the H plus, and then after that, um, the HCl, after donating the H plus, becomes Cl negative, and then after H2O accepts the H plus, it becomes H3O plus. And again, after acid donates an H plus, it turns into a conjugate base. After the base accepts an H plus, it becomes a conjugate acid. Now, in this reaction, H2O accepts the H+, plus, so it acts as a base, all right? Um, so what we can conclude is that H2O can either donate or accept a hydrogen ion. It can be an acid or a base. A substance that can act as an acid or a base is said to be amphoteric. So just to compare it with the previous reaction, in this reaction, H2O accepts the H+, plus, so it's a base. But in this reaction, the H2O donates NH plus to NH3 um, becomes NH4. So the previous reaction, H2O donates and acts as an acid. Uh, here, it accepts and acts as a base. Now, the Lewis model of acids and bases states that a base is a substance that can donate a pair of electrons to the formation of a covalent bond. An acid is a substance that can, that can accept a pair of electrons to form a covalent bond. So, the Lewis model focuses on electron pairs, not on hydrogens. All right, so for example, 
Hydroxide has a pair of electrons that are accessible. A hydrogen ion, H+, can accept these electrons and form a covalent bond. So, according to the Lewis model, the OH donates electrons and it's the base. All right. And the H plus accepts these electrons and it's the acid. So when the hydroxide donates its electrons to the H plus, these electrons uh, form the bond between H plus and OH. So these electrons are represented by this line right here. And this line represents the covalent bond between hydrogen and oxygen. So in this example, Hydroxide is the base since it's donating the electrons, and then hydrogen is the acid since it's accepting the electrons to form the covalent bond right here. Let me show you another example. Now in another example, um, hydroxide can donate electrons to carbon dioxide and form a covalent bond between the two. Okay, so in this reaction, OH is going to be the base, and CO2 is going to be the acid. So if you look, see these two electrons right here? These two electrons are going to be uh, donated to the carbon, and they show that right here. So these two electrons are going to be donated to the carbon. The carbon is going to accept these electrons and form a bond uh, between the oxygen and the carbon. So this line right here represents these electrons. So these electrons contribute uh, to the covalent bond between oxygen and carbon. And then when these electrons move here, that's going to cause these electrons to move on top of the uh, oxygen. So these electrons here used to be uh, right here. They had to move. Uh, in any case, um, the carbon dioxide is the acid since it's accepting the electrons that form the covalent bond between the two of them. And then the OH is the base because it's donating the electrons that form the bond between the two of them. And this is how carbon dioxide gas is removed from the atmosphere in spaceships. A carbon dioxide passes through a filter that contains lithium hydroxide. And the carbon dioxide bonds with the hydroxide and the resulting bicarbonate ion remains in the filter, thus removing CO2 from the air. So this OH comes from lithium hydroxide, so it's just a container that has uh, lithium hydroxide. And lithium hydroxide also uh, absorbs water or moisture from the air, and bicarbonate ion is soluble in water. So what happens is when the carbon dioxide uh, reacts with the hydroxide, and forms the bicarbonate ion, the bicarbonate ion will dissolve into the water that's also been absorbed into the filter. And by dissolving into the water, it's essentially removed the uh, carbon dioxide um, that's uh, in the water. Right? You may remember a scene in the film Apollo 13 where they had to fix their carbon dioxide filter um, because too much carbon dioxide was uh, building up in the air, and if you have too much carbon dioxide in the air, it uh, becomes poisonous to the human body. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been chemistry lecture number 90, Arrhenius, Bronsted-Lowry, and Lewis theories of acids and bases.